Welcome to Electron Line and now let's do an example for an exact differential equation. And so here we have y squared dx plus 2xy dy equals 0. And remember that this is the general format of a times dx plus b times dy equals 0, which means if there's a general solution u, if we then take the differential du, which can be written as follows, then then must be equal to 0, just like the equation above and just like original example here. Also realizing then that um, if we then take the integral of this, then this must equal some sort of constant because otherwise you know, we know that du is zero, therefore the integral must be a constant. Now, how do we find the solution to the equation? The way we do that is to go ahead and say that u, since this is a representative of the differential, we can take one of the two functions, either a or b, and say we take the integral of, and I'll write down the general equation, the integral of a, which is a function of x and y, plus, again, since this is a partial differential, we have to account for that since we call y a constant in this particular case. Then we have to also say that the constant of integration must be some function of y because that would completely go away if we take the differential, uh, the partial differential with respect to x. Since y is a constant, it would go away. We have to account for the constant to be some sort of function. Let's call it k of y. All right, then when we plug in what a is equal to, which of course in this case would be y squared, we can then say that u is equal to the integral of y squared, uh, which is a function, I don't have to write it as a function of x and y, kind of, oh, and I'm forgetting something here. I, of course, need my dx, so times dx, plus the constant of integration, which is some function of y. Now let's go ahead and integrate this. Remember, since we took the partial differential with respect to x, that means we know that y is going to be equal to a constant. And when we integrate it, we have to keep y constant in this case as well. So when we integrate this, u therefore is going to be equal to y squared times x plus some function of y. Now, we don't know what this function is. We need to figure that out. And the way we can do that is to realize that if we take the partial of u with respect to y, like we do in here, then this would be equal to b, and b is known quantity, b is 2x times y. So we can say that b, which is equal to 2x times y, which by definition here is equal to the partial of u with respect to y, the partial of u with respect to y, and since we found the solution for u, right here, we can then say, well, this must therefore be equal to partial with respect to y of, instead of u, we write this quantity right here, which is x, y squared. Notice I change the x and the y, plus some function of y, like so. All right, now let's go ahead and do that. We take the partial of that with respect to y, and of course, x is going to be a constant. This becomes 2xy plus the partial with respect to y of this function, k of y, which of course we don't know what that is yet, we need to determine that. Now we can say that this here, which is equal to b, which is equal to the partial of u with respect to y, must be equal to this. So we can write that 2xy from this part of the equation is equal to 2xy plus the partial with respect to y of the function k of y. And now you can see that you have a 2xy on the left side, a 2xy on the right side, they cancel out, so we can say that 0 is equal to the partial with respect to y of this unknown function k of y. Well, if the partial with respect to y of k of y is equal to 0, then you know that the integral must be equal to a constant, which then determines that k, the function y, is simply equal to a constant, let's just call it constant 1. All right, now... We go back here and we say that since u is equal to this plus this, and now we determine that this is going to be a constant, and we also know that if this is an exact differential that u must be equal to a constant, so let's say, let's call it a constant 2 because we call this a constant 1, then if we replace u on this side of the equation, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this solution of which we now determine what k of y is equal to, and we can now say that u which is equal to y squared x plus k of y, which we now know is some sort of constant, and we know that u must be equal to a constant, so we set it equal to another constant. 
And of course, we can combine the two constants, call it c, and therefore we can write that y squared, and of course I like to put the x in front of it, so x y squared must simply be equal to a constant, and that then becomes the solution to that differential equation. Now you may say, well, here you took the u as being the integral of a, the x plus k of y, could we have taken the u as being the integral of b times dy plus a function of x, because in that case we would let x be the constant. And the answer is yes, we could have done it that way as well. And so why not do that same problem, but in this case, instead of finding u to be the integral of a, in the next example, using the very same equation, we're going to find u, which is the integral of v. So if you want to see if that works as well, stay tuned and we'll do the problem again, letting u equal the integral of b instead. So that will be our next video.